Jersey. Thank you. So you look at these three pieces, you would never know um, how they started. We've got this beautiful uh, frame, this beautiful piece of art, this table. It which, used to be a desk. Which used to be a desk. It used to be a desk. Is it attached to the wall? It is attached to the wall. I actually took an old desk and yeah. I cut it down lengthwise and attached it to the wall with some brackets. That's very cool. And the bench slash ottoman. The bench slash ottoman, yeah, I just simply reupholstered it and painted the base. Um, but the one thing about this vignette, this is actually something that I replicated from my own home. I did this in my foyer. Okay, and it's really nice. about creating a focal point in one room. Not doing a whole room, just a focal point. Yeah. And you know, in this, in this space here, what I did was we first put up some trim around, just to give it a little bit of detailing. Oh yeah. And then we nice. painted out the wall and the trim the same color. And this is, in fact, Benjamin Moore's color of the year. It's called Breath of Fresh Air. Right. Yeah, and, nice. um, and then got some used pieces from a hotel liquidator and I used the desk and I cut it down and made a console, painted it and it's actually flint which is also new for Benjamin Moore mm -hmm. and the ottoman is actually painted supernova, also another color that's new for Benjamin Moore. Very nice. So, you know, they all work together. There's something very eclectic about it. So you've pulled out some color from your ottoman slash bench and, and put it up there on your, exactly. on your new table. And it sort of makes the whole thing flow. It, you know, the one thing if viewers want to take away from this, it's when you're putting a space together, it's really about like repetition, I find. And that way, it's an easy way to bring pieces together to make it feel more cohesive. So I use right. the purple and the purple. And the one little detail I use, like the jewelry I like to call it, is the antique brass. I used it in the handle, I used it in the upholstery tacks for the ottoman, ah. also in the accessory, and of course in the artwork that I painted, I actually used gold paint to create like gold trees, if you can believe That's it. That's so cool. Yeah. So you painted that as well. I painted it. And again, all three pieces I picked up at a hotel liquidator. Great place to find secondhand furniture. Okay, so now speaking of secondhand furniture, let's see how this looks. Oh when you first went to the hotel liquidator because so many people will be browsing around at these areas. Look at that. That's how they started before uh, he got in there with his paint and switched all of this stuff, making it look brand new and oh so gorgeous. Also a note to viewers across the country, hotel liquidators, a good place to go for reasonably priced furniture. Same with the Habitat Restore, exactly. you exactly. know, antique sales, exactly. yard sales, all of those places. You got to have the eyes and see what you want to do with it. Exactly. You want to see the inspiration. Now, the yeah. one thing about hotel liquidators is they have old furniture from old hotels that are getting renovated. Mm -hmm. Furniture meant for hotels tend to have used harder woods and better hardware. Sturdy, right? So exactly, they'll stand up a little bit more. Yeah. And so that's a great place to find something. Okay, that's a very good point. And All so right, the so artwork. we're going to walk us through the artwork here. Yeah, the artwork. Now the one thing I one thing I did when I'm when I'm doing artwork is I found uh, some canvas paper. You can get it at a craft supply store. But the first mm -hmm. thing you want to do is you actually want to paint an X on the back of it. And the reason you do this is because if you notice, I'm just going to hold them both up. The one on my left here is not painted with the X. Okay. And you can see it bows. Right. And so when your kids bring home their artwork and they look like bowls, you're like, what am I going to do with it? Well, just tell their teachers to put an X on the back of it. And that's going to straighten it out. And that's going to help straighten it out. Oh, so the first thing you did, the uh, first thing I did is I, I sort of dry brushed with a foam brush some more uh, Breath of Fresh Air. Mm -hmm. And then I took some artist paint and I just, just gently made some blue streaks just to give it a little bit more depth. Okay. And you're going to want to just casually do this. I mean, I actually try to avoid using paint brushes because I really wanted to try and something, use something different this time. So you get something like that and then when it dries, it's going to look a bit like this. And now okay. you want to do the trees. This is the most exciting part. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some gold paint yep. and you're going to put it in a little cup and you're going to get some string, the length of your board. Oh. And then you're going to let it soak up and now you really want to be careful when you do this because it'll splatter like it did on me. So then you want to. You want to make sure that you want to make sure it's it's got a lot of paint yeah, on it though, but, but not, not too, too much. much. And then what? If you just want to hold the paper down for me. Yeah, sure. Perfect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the string over top, and you're gonna just gently slide it back and forth. That's cool. And you're gonna go like so. And then what it actually does is it gives it a nice linear effect. And it actually shows a bit of the That's edge, cool. which makes it look like a tree bark. Yeah, I love that. What a great way to do it. So now that's how it looks that's, that's the next when you're piece. done. Okay, so we've got we've got the after here for everyone to see. And yes. you obviously sort of sponge painted Just the... sponge some green foliage and you get some greenery. And, yeah. and then this is how it ended up turning out. Great job. Go to our website, cityline.ca, for instructions, as always, on Antonio's project.